What if I told you I could make this pencil levitate, literally float in the air, with no wires, no tricks? Watch this. How did I do this? With the power of magnets. I took two magnets and slid them over the pencil. Then I slid four magnets in this pedestal. When I aligned the pencil's magnets over the pedestal's magnets, voila, a levitating pencil. I can even spin it. Check it out. Have you ever stopped to think about how magnets work or about how many things you use every day that use magnets? Let's take a closer look. Magnets generate a force. That force is invisible and can push or pull certain objects and make them move without touching them. Every magnet has a North Pole and a South Pole, which are located at the opposite ends of the magnet. These magnets are no exception. The red side is the North Pole, and the blue side is the South Pole. If you take two of these magnets and push the North and South Poles together, they connect without any help. But if I flip one of the magnets over, and try to push two south poles together, they resist and push apart. No matter how hard I try, they never connect. Take a look at the levitating pencil again. I lined up all the south poles so they would repel each other, which makes the pencil levitate. Pretty cool, huh? Another type of magnet is called an electromagnet. When an electric current is run through a wire, it produces a magnetic field. To reverse the polarity of the magnetic field, just reverse the direction of the current. If you wind the wire into a coil, it produces a stronger field. Another way to make a stronger magnetic field is by wrapping wire around an object, but the object has to be something that can be magnetized, like this nail. You can also change the strength by increasing the electric current running through the wire, or by adding more loops. And if you want the electromagnet to stop working completely, just disconnect it. Can you think of some places where electromagnets are used? Maybe you've seen those huge electromagnets in junkyards. Or a maglock, where the strong magnetic field of an electromagnet keeps the door locked but only until a key card interrupts the current and allows the door to be opened. And how about a maglev train? Instead of using wheels and an engine to make it run, a maglev train uses magnetic force. Maglev is short for magnetic levitation. Remember our levitating pencil? Well, a maglev train works on the same basic principle. It literally floats above the rails without touching them. One of the most famous maglev trains is the Shinkansen in Japan. They can travel at speeds approaching 500 kilometers per hour, or 310 miles per hour. If a regular train travels at 160 kilometers per hour, it would take about three hours to travel from Boston, Massachusetts to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But a maglev train like the one in Japan would take just a little bit over one hour to make the same trip. Now it's your turn to use the power of magnetic force. Work with a partner to design a device that uses magnetic force. Be sure to make a diagram and label the north and south poles. Have fun!